Jeremy Ashmetter here, the BA Guide, here to answer another question. How should I prepare for my ECBA certification exam? Let's start explaining with some of the terms and abbreviations. First, the ECBA. ECBA is an entry-level certificate into business analysis, and it was created by the IIBA, which is the International Institute for Business Analysis. In short, the IIBA is one of the premier organizations in the world that helped to set the standards for business analysis. They help to define what a business analyst does and how they do it. The ECBA certificate, the target market is people that are aspiring to become business analysts. Gaining this certificate shows the employer that you have the passion and drive and knowledge to be successful as a first time business analyst and can really help you get started in your career as a business analyst. So now that we have that out of the way, let's go back to the question. And the question is, how should you prepare for your ECBA exam? There's actually three steps that I recommend. The first step is you need to learn the fundamentals of business analysis. My opinion, the best way to do this is through some type of in-person or online course to teach you the base concepts. This is gonna teach you everything from what a business analyst is, their role, what they're responsible for in a specific project, and what techniques are they gonna to utilize to perform their duties. Without having that base concept and that base knowledge, I find that a lot of people struggle to really absorb and understand what a business analyst is doing and how they can grow to become one. Those in-person and online courses can really help set the foundation and in my terms, help you wrap your arms around the business analyst position and just, you get it, you get the scope and you understand. And the second step is to read and study the BABOC. The BABOC is the business analyst body of knowledge. It's created by the IIBA and that body of knowledge, that big, thick 500 page manual, it helps to set the standards for business analysis. The reason I don't recommend that you just study the BABOC, because that has all the answers for the exam in it. The exam is built off of the BABOC. But the reason I don't suggest you start with that is it can be very confusing. If you don't understand business analysis and the techniques and the concepts, trying to read that manual is very overwhelming. And so that's why I recommend you start with some type of in-person or online course to teach you the basics of business analysis. It'll help to make that this second step much easier because you'll understand some of those other pieces already and can help to put everything into place. And the third step is to take some ECBA practice exams. There's a lot of resources out there with various questions that you can take. And I recommend you to do this for a couple reasons. Number one, it'll just get you in the habit of answering these questions. Just working through these questions that are worded like the exam will get you familiar and comfortable with the types of things that they're gonna be asking from you. But more importantly, it's gonna help you identify the areas that you need a little bit more studying or polish on prior to taking the exam. If in the practice exam, you keep missing all the questions related to stakeholders and what they are and what they do within a project, that's a great thing to go study in the BABOC to make sure that you finalize your information there and get a good understanding so when you take the real exam, you feel confident in those particular questions. So in summary, there's three steps to getting you prepared for the ECBA exam. First thing, understand business analysis fundamentals. Take an in-person or an online course to help wrap your arms around the concepts of business analysis what a business analyst is and what they do. The second thing is to read and study the BABOC. That's the business analyst body of knowledge. That is what the exam is based off of. All the answers are within the BABOC somewhere. And so you need to make sure that you're studying that, getting familiar with the terms and how they word things throughout that manual. And then the third and final thing is to take some practice ECBA exam quizzes. So that way you get comfortable with the questions, how they're worded, but as well to identify and solidify any areas that your knowledge is a little lacking. 